hammer slash axe from the Infinity War movie. Spoiler alert, Thor no longer has his hammer Mjolnir. It got broken by his mean sister. So in this movie, he is depicted with a large Warhammer and it is called Stormbreaker. Gonna hopefully do a good job of making it today. One, two, three, four. I'm Sarah. I am also known as Pepper or Pepper Monster. I am an award-winning cosplayer and prop builder and pretty much a full-time nerd. I actually ended up on the cover of one of the Thor comic books. Um, Marvel reached out to me. They asked if I wanted to be one of their cosplay variant covers for um, a promotion they were doing. So I am now a cover girl. First step in the process is grabbing one sheet of the thicker foam. The pattern pieces that I drafted for you, cut them out. Remember to always cut on the inside of the line. Your edge pieces are going to be squared on all sides. Your squared off edges need to be beveled as thus. Hold on to these scraps. They will become very useful later when you're making the handle and need irregular scraps to make all your vining. I actually decided to start cosplaying only recently. Uh, about five and a half years ago, I met a friend and she asked me if I cosplayed and I was like, what is cosplay? And she introduced me to the concept and took me to my first convention in Toronto. I fell in love with it and was like, I have to make a costume for this. And my first costume was Thor. I watched the Thor movie and was just like, oh my gosh, this is so much fun. I had never made a costume, so it was actually all made out of t-shirts. I went home and immediately started buying leather because I was like, I, I need to make like the most legit Thor I can. You can now go in with your Dremel you want to designate two pieces of your foam for your sides, a top and bottom and a right and left. They have different details on them and you don't want to end up accidentally making three of the same side of the hammer. The one inch wide line on the bottom needs to be cut at an angle. You want to create a V pattern that you'll remove foam from Take your blade and score into your foam only about a quarter inch. The sides of your hammer are going to have a trench carved into it. The way you get your scores to open is by hitting it with your reed gum. Put your glue in your trench, fold your foam, and then actually tape it, pulling the foam at that angle to hold it during the drying process, we're going to want to glue the four inch pieces of beveled foam to the edges of this. The next step is you're going to want to glue your side pieces to the end of your hammer. here I now have to trim to be a triangle so that when it bends it fills this little corner. You want to grab your thinner foam now for the details on the right and left sides as well as your circular bit on the end. You're going to want to score this line in. So you basically only really want to scratch the surface.
masking tape and tape it over your hole and then trace it with a pen or sharpie. When you remove it, you can literally just place that down on your foam, cut a slight angle so it settles in to the angles you have in your corner. There are four more small pieces you have to cut. That's your tiny little base piece, which is what's going to attach it to the rest of the hammer. These pieces are going to interlock on the inside of this hammer hole you made. I have a little bit of overhang, which can be cleaned up with my Dremel tool. The next step after is gluing all your details down. Patch any of your aesthetic problems. Use Quick Seal to fill in the gaps. Once you're satisfied with your patching, you're gonna set it aside to dry. I would like to just be Thor sometimes, you know, and not have the condition of, oh, this is, that's a good Thor, this is a good lady Thor. I would like to just be a good Thor, which is why I'm very excited in the comics when they introduced uh, the female Thor, Jane Foster. She wasn't lady Thor, female Thor, she was just Thor, and I loved that. And that's definitely why I invested in making two costumes of Jane Thor. I've done at least 13 different versions of Thor and still counting. It fit like a glove or an infinity gauntlet maybe. We're now going to do the other half, which is the axe head. And that one is actually considerably easier and you'll enjoy it, I think, a lot. First, you're going to want to cut out your pieces and you're going to want to tape them together. You want to cut a second piece and glue those two pieces together. The most difficult part of the axe head is beveling your blade. Copy our scoring lines onto the axe head and then cut them and spread them with heat. Now that we have our axe head and hammer head assembled, we're going to move on to making the handle by first heat forming and bending the PVC pipe. Your connector is the bottom, the empty spot, that's your top. Now all we're going to do is build a little bit of a box to hold this whole hammer together. Now that we've actually glued those pieces together, you'll find that your hammer is pretty solid. Now you're ready for the more creative, messy part, which is adding all of the twining and vining on it that makes up the actual handle. This part is imprecise and can be messy because it's a natural growth pattern, so we don't really need any more rulers. You're going to have to use your Dremel and round them off and add binding details. We're going to want to wrap your handle in EVA foam. Wrap this in EVA foam and dremel the crazy crap out of it until it matches your upper section. After you've constructed your whole hammer, you just want to now coat the whole thing in plastic. Once plastic dipped, you're ready for painting. All you need to do is take two shades of brown, a sponging tool, and all you want to do is drag that over the surface for painting of the axe head. You're basically just going to paint all of it light silver with the dark gray accent marks. You get a brown leather twine. You literally just wrap it around the rooms. I applied before I painted, but after I plastic it using puffy paint. You just very steadily squeeze it on, let it dry, paint over it, and you've got rooms. After you've painted, you just clear coat it. His hammer is something he has to earn. 
If he was ever too self-assured, he would no longer be worthy of the hammer. But if he was too riddled with self-doubt, he wouldn't be able to wield it either. It was a, a knife's blade he has to walk to maintain that. And I, I, I always loved the concept of every day you strive to be worthy of whatever it is in your life that you're doing. I took that to heart when I tattooed Thor's hammer on my arm, which is right here. Every day, you just gotta pick up this hammer, which is literally my body, gotta pick it up every day and just go for it and earn this hammer. And it, it stuck with me, so I can't brush it off one day. When I put on my Thor costume, I feel so powerful. I have the uh, confidence to walk up to people and to talk to people, and they wanna come up to me and ask about my costume, and it's, it's empowering.